This is Francis Celia again from Globalnet 21, and we have here Jazz Razul, who was at the meeting uh, this evening and had some very important points to, to raise about the issue of trust and trust being important if you're going to change behaviour. Do you want to tell us what you said about trust? Trust about that communities must have in government and trust that government must have in communities. Yeah, with, if people are going to be able to govern themselves, then it's important that they can trust that they can govern themselves. And I think if the government's really going to help communities to be self-sustaining and for the big society idea to work, then the government has to help people to learn how to trust themselves. And also not just themselves, but how to generate trust between themselves through collaboration of one form or another. So how do you actually create trust? What's the process? Well, trust is something that's partly based on um, doing things that have some wisdom behind them. And if people believe that something makes sense, and it's something that actually gives them a bit more life and it brings more clarity, then typically you're going to find trust actually does increase. So it's really important um, that trust is built through those methods. But usually the biggest ways of improving trust is by people contributing to each other. Now, after a while, if a group of people have contributed to each other, they feel to some degree that the people around them can be trusted because they've done something good for them. Okay, that's fine. So trust is a crucial, crucial issue and it's a shared experience. Okay, thanks Jazz and this is Francis Celia again from Globalnet21 signing off.